Hi everybody, if you follow the channel, you probably already know that I built the wood-fired barbecue and a brick pizza oven, and now I need a place to store all my firewood. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I built this wood shed in one day by myself. Before you start building, you're gonna to wanna to level off the area where you're gonna be putting the structure. I have some gravel that I kind of had laying around, so I'm going to use that, but that is not necessary. You just want to make sure that the ground is level. The most important thing when you have a project like this that you want to get done quickly is to keep it simple. Uh, I am going to be cutting everything down, and I'm going to try to minimize the cuts as much as possible. There's not going to be anything crazy here in this project because that's when things get slower and more complicated. Now I know not everyone is set up with a miter saw like I have here, but you don't really need a miter saw. You can easily use a circular saw with a speed square and get perfectly straight cuts. My goal in this project is to show you how you can build a firewood shed in one day by yourself. Now I have plans available in my Etsy shop which will definitely speed up the process, but you can make your own plans. If it's well planned, it is possible to get this done in one day. Before you start installing the floor joists, make sure that your box is square. To do that, you can use a square like I am, or you can measure the corners diagonally with a measuring tape, and if they come up with the same exact measurements, you will be perfectly square. Little tip when you're framing, uh, if you use a spacer like I am here, you'll get perfect spacing every time. I am using decking screws to hold this thing together and I'm also going to be using structural screws later on in the project. Uh, also the roofing material and the odd things that I'm using in this project. I will link everything in the description in case you want to check them out. If you want to see some of the mistakes that I made on this project, stick around to the very end and I will show you. Keep my posts perfectly aligned and spaced, I am going to be tying in these braces temporarily. They're going to be coming down later, but this is going to keep everything nice and tight while I continue the process of building on this. While researching this project, I learned that it was better to have a structure with good airflow than a structure that is sealed from the elements. A structure that is sealed from the elements is going to have more problems with critters finding a nice comfortable place to make a home. So uh, this is why you're going to see the spacing between these boards because airflow is very important for storing your firewood. 
If you're wondering about the size, when this is finished, it will be able to easily hold a full cord of wood. To be honest, at this point in the project, I decided to call it a day because my kids came home and things got kind of crazy. The next day, I spent an additional two hours finishing up the roof. The total amount of time that I spent was about 12 hours, but keep in mind that I was also filming. If I wasn't filming, I think I could have cut out two and a half to three hours easily. To minimize the cost of this project, I'm going to be using galvanized corrugated roofing. Uh, this is the cheapest option that I could find or think of uh, to get a roof up. These are the screws that are supposed to be used for corrugated roofing. They have a rubber washer on them which is going to prevent water from getting in there once they're installed. These are the structural screws that I'm going to be using to replace the temporary ones that I use for the post at the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. 
If you need to build one of these, I have plans available in my Etsy shop. If you follow those plans, you can easily get this thing done in one day, even if you're working by yourself. We are done here. If you're new to the channel, please check out my other videos. If you like what you see, please think about subscribing. I am also on Instagram, so if you want to see what I'm working on right now, you can check it out. I usually post up there before I post those videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody's doing well, and I will see you in the next one. As always, there are always some mistakes that I make along the way, so let me share with you which mistakes they are. When installing this roofing, what I should have done is dry fitted it first. I ended up leaving too much of an overhang on this side, and then when I got to the other side, I barely made it. In fact, it's a little too short. Now, it's not a big deal, but, you know, I should probably have a little bit more of an overhang there. Now, the other mistake is, on my second to last screw installing this roof, I missed figures. Uh, so, it's not really too much of a big deal. I just used some roofing tar to seal it up and it's fine, but, you know, it's a mistake.